Hi grade 6, I am teacher Miriam and welcome to our English class. Join me today as we learn a new lesson. We will be tackling a new topic, but before that, we're going to have a game first. I know that all of you are very excited. Are you ready? Perfect! I know that all of you are very familiar with this. The mechanics of this game is that you are given 5 seconds to give the correct answer. All you have to do is to give the correct word that is associated with a set of pictures. So, let's get started! So, let's have the first puzzle. What do you think is the word associated with these pictures? Alright, time is up. So, if your answer is date, you are definitely correct. Let's have another one. What's the word? Alright, time's up. Then if your answer is sound, you are correct. What do you think is the word hidden in these pictures? Time's up. So if you said crane, you are correct again. Let's have the next one. Time is up. If you answered light, that is correct. And the last one. What do you think is the word associated with these pictures? Alright, time is up. If you answer ring, you are definitely correct. Thank you so much learners for participating. I know how much you love the game, but we will not consume our time for that. So now let's proceed to our topic for today, which is all about noting details. Noting details is a reading comprehension skill that involves picking out from a text particular piece or pieces of information to achieve a given purpose such as answering a question on a test. When one notes details, he keeps a brief record of something on a piece of paper. Now learners, I have a special task for you. Directions. Read the story and note its important details. Pedro went for a bike ride. He rode around the barangay. He met some girls he knew from school. They all headed to the farm to play. Pedro had a great time playing games with his friends. Are you done? Let's find out if you understood the story by answering this task. Number 1. Pedro went for a bike car ride. The correct answer is bike. Number 2. He rode around block barangay. The correct answer is barangay. Number 3. Then he met some boys, girls he knew from school. And the correct answer is girls. Good job, learners! What's the importance of noting details? Whenever you are reading, you should constantly be noting the important details. When discussing reading comprehension, think of details as the individual features, facts, and particulars in the text. These details are essential in developing reading comprehension. And now learners, let's find out if you understood the lesson. I want you to do this task. Are you ready with your pen and paper? Yes! Read the story and write your answers on your paper. Blackie's story 
I see and hear many things at night. I look at the sky and see the moon and stars. The leaves make noise when the wind blows. I see a brown cricket and a cockroach fly across the ceilings. I hear other dogs howling at the moon all night long. Are you done, kids? Perfect! This time, let's answer the following questions. Number one. When does Blackie see and hear many things? And the correct answer is Blackie sees and hears many things at night. Number two. What does Blackie see in the sky? And the correct answer is Blackie sees the moon and stars. Number three. What makes noise in the wind? And the correct answer is the leaves make noise when the wind blows. Number four, what color is the cricket? The cricket is color brown. And number five, what howls at the moon? The dogs howl at the moon. Are you done checking? Did you get the correct answer? Excellent! Oh, do you hear the clock ticking? Aha! Yes, it's break up time! Noting details is vital to reading comprehension. In fact, the noting details is the foundation of literal comprehension and comprehension as a whole. The meaning of noting detail is a comprehension of something that one has written down on a paper. This may be a statement, a quote, definition, or a phrase written down in order to remember things. Noting details in the story or selection read is answering who, what, where, when, and why. Oh, grade 6, what time is it? It's test time. Is your pen ready? Check. Is your paper ready? Check. Here's what you are going to do. Note the details as you read the short story and answer the questions that follow. We read and view. We, the grade 6 class, went to see the movie last Saturday. We got permission slips signed before we left the school. We watched a movie that told a story from a book we read. We love it when the movies are made from books. We got to the movie early so we could buy popcorn. Some of us bought curls and fries too. We all enjoyed watching the movie. When we returned to school, we talked about things that were in the movie and the book. We all agree that we like the book better. Books let their picture the characters in any way you want to. It was fun to compare the movie to the book. Now here are the questions. Number one, who watched the movie? Number two, where did the students go? Number three, what did the students need to do before going to the movie? Number four, when did the students watch the movie? And number five, why are books better than movies? All right, time is up. Let us now check your answers. Number one, who watched the movie? The grade six class watched the movie. Number two, where did the students go? The grade 6 class went to the movie. Number 3. What did the students need to do before going to the movie? They needed to get permission sleeps. Number 4. When did the students watch the movie? The students watched last Saturday. Number 5. Why are books better than movies? Books let you picture the characters in any way you want to. 
Wow, you all did great. Now, tap yourself and say you're doing great self. Today, we'll learn more about noting details. And yes, we did it. And always remember this grade 6 learners, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. This has been your teacher, Teacher Miriam. See you next time. Bye!